so uh, good morning everybody uh, welcome to Amsterdam so Keith is in so we can start uh, great to see you all at this uh, 2015 Transmart annual meeting welcome on behalf of the Transmart Foundation and uh, the local organizers CTMM Trade and uh, the Netherlands Cancer Institute so um, I guess, like in, uh, in, at previous occasions, that many of you are into technology. Uh, but um, let's keep in mind that it's not all about technology. Um, so we're talking about Transmart, the developments in Transmart, and, um, and great IT around it. But um, we're talking about technology, but technology for a purpose. And the purpose is actually whatever you all want to call it, precision medicine, personalized medicine, translational research, but in the end, facilitating biomedical research that is going to deliver improvements in healthcare and, um, and for patients, so that patients are going to be better off in the future than they are today. And um, the, uh, the simple model behind it is this scheme. This is a scheme of um, translational research or personalized medicine. So we have patients, they present with a disease, and the whole concept is that if we have a better understanding of the disease and how that associates, uh, better understanding of the underlying mechanisms and the biology and how that associates with uh, the cause of the disease, we can improve the outcome. And that is exactly where Transmart comes in, because all of this is about data integration, and that is one of the great features, of course. And um, Basically, this is a very timely theme. So uh, some of you may have seen this, uh, this week's Nature Issue a review on the precision medicine ecosystem. And this is just a little bit more complicated graph, which basically is uh, similar to the one that I showed you before. So it would, of course, been great if in Nature, actually, Transmart would have been put here. That's, yeah. So that's... Uh, that's exactly what we should be aiming for. And that's where we are not, yet, uh, not there yet. So this is, I think, one of our great challenges, to have a tool for people, for researchers in the lab and, and in the clinic uh, that is really going to uh, uh, serve them every day for this purpose. Very much like we are using office suites in all of our uh, business and office work. And actually, that's um, a direction that we have taken off uh, in the... Um, um, in, in the CTM trade project and actually uh, try to kind of build a similar thing or compose a similar uh, thing like an office suite for translational research and that's what you see here so we have the uh, the different domains clinical data imaging digital pathology all of the biobanking world over here and all of the experimental data that um, that you handle in different ways and you may know, uh, recognize many of these logos, uh, many of which are open source tools for specific purposes in these fields. And basically, these, these are not just uh, this is not just a slide with logos. But if you go to the website, you'll notice that this is simply um, a desktop where you can actually uh, click the buttons and and go to these different applications. And also here, actually, this is again a natural spot for Transmart. So I could envision that this would be in the end. Uh, a positioning of Transmart that, um, that that simple researchers like me and my colleagues uh, would end up using the thing. One other thing to keep in mind is actually that this um, precision medicine ecosystem, although we're all here gathered around Transmart, is quite densely populated. So there's a lot of stakeholders out there. And some of them we know, we collaborate already with, like the uh, Michael J. Fox Foundation, uh, we have Etrix over here, CTM Trade over there, and we're looking into collaborating with CBioPortal, um, IMI, of course, but there are also um, stakeholders out there which are which play a substantial role in this field with which we have not aligned yet very much, like, for instance, the Global Alliance for Genomics and Health uh, and the uh, European counterparts of, of such initiatives, which are BBMRI for biobanking, Elixir for bioinformatics, Eatrus for translational research, um, and many others. But also initiatives in the field of um, IT, like Sage Bio Networks. So I think we should really be aware of this environment and, and make sure that we do not only look 
inside to the internal heart of, of, of Transmart, but also have an open eye on positioning Transmart in this ecosystem. That is exactly what um, we will be doing next month here in the Netherlands. So those of you who come from the Netherlands, I, and, and also if you come from abroad anyway, I'd uh, like to, um, to um, uh, welcome you to this meeting where actually we have gathered not only the, um, the technical people, but many representatives and stakeholders from this precision medicine ecosystem. And, and we're going to have actually our first uh, meeting together. So this is, these are just a few things to set the stage for um, this meeting today here. Um, I'm not going to spend much longer on this. I'm going to hand over to, uh, to Raymond who's going to be uh, this morning's uh, chair. And uh, Raymond Feynman is the um, uh, one of my uh, co-workers over here. And he'll, um, he'll comment on some further details of the program. OK, Gerrit, uh, thank you very much for uh, setting the stage for this uh, meeting. Welcome to you all. I will restrict myself to some practicalities for this meeting, actually. So the first one is you have seen the meeting schedule. The science track will be held in this auditorium, the Piet Borst Auditorium. The developers track will be held in Zaal four, uh, four, yeah, room four, Zaal vier, which is next door when you uh, walk out here. Um, and the hackathon will be in uh, room five, Zaal five. We will have a quite a tight schedule today um, and in fact for the user training today which is during lunchtime uh, for those people attending please pick up your lunch first and then uh, go to the uh, training session um, this is a research hospital environment so uh, kind of reminded also whatever stuff you take in please leave your room a bit tidy when you leave the people who present posters. The posters can be installed from lunchtime on um, and should be on, of course, before six o'clock this evening when the poster session will be held. For people having uh, oral presentations, please um, install your presentation ahead of time, in particular with Alex and um, your colleague in uh, Zaal 4 because the presentations will be run from uh, go to meeting. For the presenters, this actually means that when there's questions from the audience, please repeat the question because then it will be audio monitored as well. Um, this building is, uh, as I said, a research hospital environment. I think you all managed to get in. Uh, for the meeting, you are uh, able to enter a lot of doors. When you happen to wander around outside meeting times, this building becomes a bit of a prison. Uh, and there's all these locked doors. So please pay attention where you start wandering outside the meeting or just follow the meeting times getting in and out. Um, I hope everyone has access to uh, wireless internet. Uh, you can connect to the open Wi-Fi uh, at the NKI AVL. And last but not least, maybe Pauline, you can stand up for all your important questions. Uh, you may have already met Pauline van Mulligen, but otherwise, please contact her and uh, she will be able to help you out. Are there any urgent questions right now? If not, then I'd like to invite the CEO of the Transmart Foundation, Keith Allison, to give an update 